All right. So let's begin our yoga in our nice cool homes today. Yeah. Welcome. So we've been doing this series on breath, and I think a couple of weeks ago we did the Satali breath of cooling. And because it's been so hot, I think we'll practice that today again. <laughs> so let's shake, shake, shake. Yeah. And basically just um, breathing consciously. Yeah. And shake off any tension, wiggle your anything, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wink your eyes, wiggle your legs, your shoulders. And then come to stillness. Good. And bring your palms up on your lap. And let's close our eyes. So earlier this week, we did um, this calming breath. Basically, it just with conscious breath, there's no, it's not like a, a perfect, you know, one perfect breath. But if you can just remember to breathe in deep, deeply, sometimes pausing the breath that brings us into our center. And then exhaling the breath out the nose and longer than the inhale breath. Really even make a little bit of an effort to exhale fully. Yeah, that's just all you need to remember, right? Inhale, pause, exhale longer. Yeah, all right. And so let's just do a couple cleansing breaths. Take a breath in, pause just for a minute, a second, and then breathe out. You can breathe out the mouth if you'd like. Gets rid of the heat in your body. It gets rid of the toxins in your body and turns on your parasympathetic nervous system. Take another breath in. Pause and breathe out fully. Now relax. So the cooling breath is either we're gonna, on the inhale breath, we're gonna either roll your tongue or just part your lips so the air goes along your tongue as you breathe in, yeah. And then you'll close the breath as you breathe out and re-wet the tongue when you close the mouth with the saliva. All right, so taking a breath in, either rolling your tongue or just opening your mouth slightly. And then close the mouth. Close the lips and exhale through the nose. And inhale again, either rolling the tongue or if that's a challenge for you, just let the air float along uh, on top of the tongue. And then close the lips and slowly exhale. Nice and slow, full breaths, slowly. So do about three or four of those at your own pace. Breathing in slowly. Just feeling that cool breath along your tongue. And then exhaling through the nose. And feeling the body relax as you exhale slowly and fully. Continue on. Do one more breath, cooling yourself down. In the bottom of the exhale breath, just relax the breath. Breathing in and out of the nose, just softly. Notice the cool breath, the cool air as it goes into your nostrils. And a little bit warmer air coming out. So in the heat, the exhale breath is important, right? That gets rid of all the toxins, right? And the hot air in our body. All right. And when you feel ready and complete, 
Just gently flutter that up, the eyes open. Yeah. Nice little breath for a little our little built-in swan cooler that we have. Yeah. All right. So let's sit up tall. And we're going to do a little bit of focus on our lung health because it's, you know, our air tends to be toxic, but here, you know, where we are in, in Colorado and actually the whole West Coast and Canada right now, the air is smoky. So that smoky air can irritate, irritate your throat, irritate your lungs a little bit. So we're going to do some nice uh, breathing and, um, and, and uh, healthy energy to that area of the body along with other stuff, yeah. All right, so let's bring the hands down onto the onto your lap, take a nice breath in. So lift the heart, get a nice posture here. Shoulders are gently reaching back, you're just sitting up nice and tall. And take a breath in, and as you exhale, keep the shoulders back, keep the spine long, and drop the chin to chest. I'm good. And close your eyes if you'd like. Inhale, roll your head over to one side and up. And as you exhale, roll it to the other side. And down. But continue at your own pace, nice and slow. And see how your neck feels today. It's so amazing that literally every class we do this, Probably your neck feels different. You could do this every day. I try to do this every day. And my neck feels different almost every day. Next time the head comes forward, pause. Which means our body needs it. If we can regularly. And just circle the opposite direction here. Good. Inhaling. And then out of the nose if that's available to you. Good. Just let this feel nice. Notice the temperature of the air as the head cycles through. Next time the head comes forward, pause. Wiggle your toes. Gently press into the pads of your toes as you lift your head up slowly. Yeah, nice tall spine. Good. All right. Relax your arms down alongside your body. Good. And then on an inhale breath, bring the shoulders forward and up. And on an exhale breath, just melt them down your back. Yeah. Inhale forward and up. Exhale down. And one more this direction. Yeah. A smile on the face throughout class if you can remember. Yeah. And then pause and then reverse. Inhale back and up this time. Exhale forward and down. Notice how your shoulders feel today. Which one feels good? Yeah. Good. Okay. And to get a little bit deeper into our shoulders, relax the arms down. Good. We're going to turn the palms up and on an inhale breath, slowly just reach your arms just to where they're comfortable. Just not, not any further than halfway up. And then bend your elbows and bring your fingers to your shoulders. Good. And while they're there, just give your shoulders a little massage. Yeah. Good. And now bring your elbow slowly forward. We're going to rotate that, that uh, shoulder girdle here. We're going to inhale, reach the elbows up and back and down. This is also good for opening up our lungs, opening up our chest. Inhale up. And exhale. As I'm walking dogs in this smoky weather, I'm making sure, well, the other day I wore my KN95 mask. <laughs> yeah. But I'm making sure as much as I can to breathe in and out of my nose when I walk. Yeah. Again, it filters the air. Pause and then reverse. Yeah. Every little bit helps care of our body. Also, you know, doing citrus, like oranges, like vitamin C, that helps detoxify yeah, body. And the next time the elbows come down, release and relax, good. 
and blow it out. Okay, a little bit more for opening up our lungs here. Now this time around an inhale breath, we're gonna bring our arms forward, just halfway, good. And then pressing down into your feet on an inhale breath, lift your heart, just span your arms open and look up. Open up that whole front body. And as you exhale now, drop the head, bring the arms forward, and see if you can just touch your fingertips. Look down. Yeah. And again, press into your feet. Inhale, lift the heart. Look up. Open the chest. And exhale. Just gently curl in. And maybe you touch your fingertips. Yeah, see if you can find them. And one more. Inhale, lift up. Open up. And exhale, come forward. And then simply lift the head up and relax the arms down. Might feel nice you've had your arms up there to just roll out your shoulders. And let's shake the hands. Let the fingers be nice and floppy, nice and loose. And then we're gonna bend the elbows, stretch your fingers wide and bring them into a fist. Stretch them wide and wiggle them. Yeah, as if there's a breeze going through your fingers and then close and relax, good. We're gonna come into, let's scoot forward into our chairs here a little bit. I'm gonna come into cow face pose. So this is a big shoulder opener, also lung, chest opener. Yeah, so we're gonna take, start with your right arm and reach it up. Yeah, and then see if you can reach it up a little bit higher, just to where it's comfortable. And then bend the elbow, and see if you can lay your fingertips onto your shoulder or the top or the back, the, the little uh, shoulder uh, blade back there. Yeah. And then we're going to bring this right left hand and we're going to help to reach our elbow up just a little higher. So the arm is right next to the head. Yeah. So just as far up as is comfortable. And then relax. Good. And then we're going to take now this left hand, bend the elbow and bring the top of your hand, slide it behind your back, either your sacrum or your waist yeah good and some of you if you're really open in your shoulders you can bring those left fingertips a little bit higher up your back towards those right fingertips yeah but we want to keep a nice tall spine here so we don't want to be rounding to get further right we want to keep the chest lifted good keep the chin parallel and take a few breaths here just opening up that lung space that area. Yeah. Good. And then on your next exhale breath, relax and slide that hand back. Let the hand behind you just slide it out. Good. And then slowly start to drop your right elbow down. Good. And release. Good. And relax. Shake it out. Shake the head. Good. We're gonna to go to the other side now. So take the left arm up towards the sky and you'll see if there's a difference here. Usually there is, right? Sometimes your dominant side, then bring your left fingertips. Your dominant side might be a little tighter. Yeah, that does more work. And then take this right hand and see if you can guide that left elbow up a little higher. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it's enough. And then release that. And then see if you can tuck that right hand behind you and start to slide it up maybe to your waist or maybe up a little higher, but behind that uh, left rib cage. Yeah. Feel more open on this side for some reason. And breathe. So find your range of motion and breathe. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Each time you exhale, see if you can reach those right fingers up a little bit more, maybe not. Yeah. And then exhale, now slide that out. Slide that right arm slowly out from behind you and then start to release that left elbow down. Yeah, it's a very challenging pose because our shoulders get to be, tend to be so tight. So shake it out. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more for our spine here. 
So we're going to start with our right hand and on an inhale breath, reach the right arm up and then lean over just a little bit. Tuck that tummy in and then inhale, come back up, straight up and exhale, reach up and lean over. Keep that arm in line with the ear, not in front of you, if possible. So just don't go as far. Yeah. Inhale, come back up again. And exhale, reach up and over a little bit more. Good. And pause here. So you can be holding onto your chair. You can just let that left hand reach towards the floor. Maybe turn your gaze just a little bit underneath that left right arm and breathe. So your belly's engaged, press down into your toes to engage your lower body to give you stability. Good. And then inhale, slowly press into your feet to come back up and exhale it up. Okay, at this point, maybe we really notice that when we press down into our feet, it lightens the load of our upper body. When we're doing upper body things, pressing into your feet really helps to uh, lighten it. It's not so burdensome. Let's go to the other side. So inhale, left arm up and exhale, reach up and lean up. And then just gently inhale back up. And exhale, come up and over. And inhale back up. And exhale, reach up and lean over. Again, belly's tucked in, you're pressing into your toes. Yeah, holding on to your chair might be helpful or just reaching the right fingers down. And turning and looking underneath a little bit, that left shoulder the left arm and breathe don't stop breathing Good. and then press down into your feet slowly bring your body back up look forward and exhale release it down Good. and roll it out shake it out yeah really let yourself get loose here all right we're going to do a, a few little um uh sun or salutations or poses actually sitting in our chair. So we're gonna start with warrior one pose as we're sitting. So taking the right foot, sliding it back, and then tucking it underneath your chair. So if you're sitting a little bit more forward in your chair, you have a little more space to do that. Yeah, just to where it's comfortable. And I know we have big clunky shoes on, so just to where it's comfortable for you. Good, and then lift the heart. And on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach the arms forward and up and maybe even look up slightly and find your breath. And then exhale, slowly let the arms float down. Good. And then on an inhale breath, we're gonna lift that right leg out, up and out and exhale it out. And now on an inhale breath, we're gonna take the right leg out to the side. Left leg is forward, right leg is out to the side. Square your shoulders. So let's reach our left arm back. Reach our right arm forward. Press down into your feet. And slowly turn and look over that right finger. And find your breath. A little smile on the face. We're in warrior two pose. Yeah. So just gently pressing into your feet. Yes and stretching your arms gently to either side. And then on exhale breath, relax your shoulders back and down. Good, and on an exhale breath, now slowly turn your head forward. Take a breath in and exhale, relax your arms down. Good, we're gonna come into triangle pose. So if it's available to you, you're gonna extend your right leg out. Yeah, so just to where it's comfortable. We don't wanna fully extend it and drop our knee. We want a little bit of a, a bend here. And if your chair is bugging you, you know, just wiggle around here a little bit so that you have that leg extended. If that's not feeling good, then bring your foot back to the floor. Here, and then relax the arms down. Now again, we're just going to slowly float our arms out to either side, finding triangle pose. Good. I'm going to take a breath in 
And as you exhale, we're gonna reach, drop that right arm and lift the left arm up to on an angle. Yeah, good. And if it feels better and you can uh, rotate your shoulders back, bring your palms forward. Good. And so belly's tucked in, you're pressing down into your left toes, doing a little bit of a hamstring stretch on that right side. If you feel like you can turn your head over to the left and even look up a little bit, that's just an option. And breathe, opening up this chest, giving our lungs space. Yeah. They've been working hard for us. And then exhale, relax the head, bring it back forward, relax your arms down. Take a break. Good. Finally, we're going to do side angle here. So with that right hand, you can help to re-bend that knee. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good. And then we're going to take the palm up and then we're going to keep the spine straight and we're going to lean over to the side and just lay your arm or your hands, back of the hand onto that thigh. Yeah, good. And then left arms relax down. And on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach that left arm out and up. Take a breath in and exhale, reach up and lean over. As you're pressing down into your right forearm, reach up and over with your left. Belly's tucked in, engage those toe pads into the floor. Yeah, and breathe. Now I'm opening up this whole left side of our body. Good. The chest, lungs, heart space. Press down into your feet, slowly come back up and exhale as you bend that left elbow, just let the arm float down. Good. And relax, hands on your lap and heel toe, heel toe your feet together. Yeah, good. All right, we're just gonna do that nice little dance on the other side. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> we're gonna slide the left toes back, that left toe, and come to the top of your, you know, of the foot as much as possible. Yeah, so you're not on the ball of your foot here. If you can slide your toes back and just let this leg drop. It's a nice little stretch for our, that front hip flexor, yeah. Good, mine gets tight a lot when I walk. Good. And then a uh, nice tall spine on an inhale breath, reach your arms forward and up. And just find this nice, cute little sweet warrior one in our chair. Good. We're sweet warriors. And then exhale, release the hands down. Nice and slow, good. Now on an inhale breath, take that left hand and inhale, Take that foot out from underneath you and lay it down to the right. Good. And now on an inhale breath, take that left leg out to the side. We're gonna find our warrior two on this side. Good, so nice tall spine. Reach the right arm out and the left arm. Good. And then turn your gaze to that front middle left finger. Find your breath, big breath, long, slow, deep breath. So check in with that left foot, the whole foot's on the floor. Yeah, left thigh is not caving in, it's straight out, forward, straight forward. And breathe. So reaching to either side gently of the room. Shoulders relax back and down. And on an exhale breath, relax your arms down. And good. Slowly turn your gaze back forward. Good. Now again, on this side, if it's available to you, extend your leg. So just come onto the heel of your foot. Yes. Or you can just stay with your foot on the floor. Good. And relax the arms down. On an inhale breath, stretch your arms out to either side. Let's bring our palms forward first this time. Good. Take a nice breath in. Tuck your belly in. You want to support that trunk of the body and then just pivot over. Yeah, like you're pouring a cup of tea. Yeah, good. And so just feel that beautiful extension from fingertips to fingertips, from the ceiling to the floor, and whatever is comfortable for your face, your head. 
right either forward or you can look to the right or you can even look up as well just whatever is comfortable on your neck shoulders breathe two and one just feel that opening of that chest good and then relax your head down and forward if it was turned and then press into that right foot as you bring the body back up and then exhale the arms down good and then you can take that left hand and help to just re-bend that knee good and we're going to come into side angle on this side right so we're going to keep a nice tall spine we're going to lean over like we're a, a tree trunk right that's leaning over the leaning tower of pisa <laughs> And then bring the palm up and rest wherever it's comfortable on your forearm or hands because you're going to be using that arm to press down when you come up and over release the right arm good and then press into your feet to float that right arm out and up good. you can keep you can stay in cactus pose here anytime any class right if your shoulders are tight take a breath in and as you exhale, reach up and slowly lean over. Good. Try to get a nice space from your right fingers to the outside of your right foot. You're pressing down into this left forearm. Yeah, you'll feel so much more leverage, so much more space even on that left side. Good. And then again, gaze can be forward or underneath the arm, whatever's comfortable for you, for your neck. And breathe. And just enjoy this big expansion of the whole right side. Yeah. Okay. And then press down into your feet. Slowly bring your body back up and exhale your arm. Just let it flow through space, noticing the temperature of the air. Yeah. And relax. Good. All right. And then toe heel, toe heel your feet back and hip distance apart. Good. Might feel nice to just do some shoulder rolls. Might feel really nice now to press that, you know, uh, come to toes even, press down into your feet and slowly stretch your shoulders up to your ears. Ooh, feel that space in your vertebrae and your spine. And exhale, let it go. Good. And then press down into your feet again and lift the shoulders up and stretch. So nice. And exhale. Relax and shake it out. Good. All right. So I know it's a hot day. You might feel a little sluggish. You might feel like I'm not standing up. I'm just going to stay in my chair today. That's an option for you for sure. Always. Yeah. If you want to come and do, we're going to stand up and just do some work up top a little bit movement up top too yeah as we stand so take a breath in i like to slide my heels back again feel that momentum as you stand as if somebody's pulling your chest forward and up i know i say that every time but try to feel that you know it'll take the pressure off also pressing down into your feet and your toes as you stand up helps us to stand more functionally yeah so leaning forward first good and then pressing down and lifting up with that heart to slowly come to a stand good all right and let's come to the back of our chairs slide your chair out of the way or you can keep it forward you can always keep it handy for you you never know what i'm going to do with you next so you may need a chair to hold on to have it handy yes i usually don't surprise you and i usually give you lots of options so just shake the body again move the body been sitting for a little bit and so just move around notice on your body today what's feeling tight my hips are feeling tight they always feel tight especially when i am active and then i sit for a while and then i stand up boy you know like my hips say wait hold on a minute i was just relaxing and now you're making me work again yeah and relax good roll out the shoulders good all right and then we're just going to do a little march here lifting our feet or our heels rather yeah and moving the arms so we can if there's ever a, a you know a time where you 
or injured or you have some sort of injury in your lower extremities, you can still do a little, you know, uh, heart, uh, um, get your heart rate up. And um, just lifting up the arms will do that. Yeah. So as we, you know, sort of walk, lifting our heels, just do some arm raises here, nice and easy. And that will get the heart pumping blood and oxygen all throughout the body. Get your heart rate up. Yeah, good. And over time, this is also good for osteoporosis for building some bone. And if you have weights in your hands, soup cans, something, it's even more effective for sure. Because building bone requires some resistance. And relax, good and shake it out good and then let's just rock on our heels and toes heels and toes but just rock and massage your feet because that last tuesday we just really pay attention to all parts of your feet your toes the outside the insides of your feet the balls of your feet the heels yeah just massage all of that good right shake it out and let's come to a little bit wider stance, however it's comfortable for you. Good. Let's do our little side to side. Good. So on an inhale breath, come to one side. Exhale, ha. It out. Inhale, ha. Sometimes you can experiment with breathing out through the nose and in. Sometimes you can experiment with blowing out, like you're blowing out a candle, or just that ha, ha. And again, that exhale breath is releasing the heat, some heat in our body. Ah, also tension, stress. Ah, also sending a signal to that parasympathetic nervous system to say, okay, calm down. Ha, ah, and come to center. Good. All right. And let's just come to a stand here. Yeah. If it's available to you, if you have your chair there, I just want you to close your eyes. Yeah. So just stand however you stand, however it feels comfortable, however it feels normal for you. Good. And just notice your breath. And notice the breath, what you're breathing in and out. Just easily, no change, don't change anything, just notice. Yeah. What body parts are moving, if any? Is it just your lungs? Pay attention to your lungs as you just naturally breathe. You're breathing in your nose, your mouth, just to wherever you, you went to naturally. All right, and now let's flutter the eyes open. Good. Now we're gonna come into our mountain pose. Remember the mountain pose, right? First thing is engage your kneecaps and then roll your shoulders gently back. Bring your palms forward. Good. Tummy just tucked in slightly, just a little bit. And then your chin tucked back, looking straight ahead. Find your mountain pose, nice and relaxed. And now if you can, again, close your eyes or just soften your eyes. And now notice your breath, just your natural breath. And notice your body, your tummy, your lungs. And notice if it just naturally feels like you can take deeper breath. No changing anything, not doing anything consciously, but just notice the natural breath, the in and out. And then when you're ready, flutter your eyes open. So I don't know if you notice that just naturally, just having your posture, right? Having your shoulders back. If it naturally felt like your breath was going a little bit further down your lungs, right? Maybe your belly was, you know, moving up and back as you breathed in and breathe and uh, took a breath out. Yeah. So it's just posture that because we naturally and again more our society more and more is closing in 
just as you know becoming a little bit older and you know that we naturally start to curl in and so we want to do those counter poses to help us to stay just nice and and it helps our, our balance our flexibility it helps our our breath our oxygen you know getting our heart rate everything our digestion everything right just by having good posture yeah good nice experiment everybody so notice there was a difference or there wasn't yeah and the more you do this practice the more we come to yoga and practice that posture you're going to start finding that all of a sudden you do it naturally that's what feels natural on your body yeah i remember i was in an airport one one time and somebody came up to me and they're like I have to just tell you, I just noticed how your posture is so nice when you were sitting on the stools there with my family and we were having something to eat. And I said, well, thank you. I, and it wasn't even like, it didn't even occur to me, but I had been practicing this practice for so long that now that was the norm. This was no longer the norm. This didn't feel good anymore to my body. So that's why they call it a practice. Good job. That's why you're here today. Nice job. <laughs> Okay, so let's come to uh, what do I want to do here? Just a standing um, little side bend. Actually, a little forward fold. Yeah. So on an inhale breath, reach the arms forward and up. You even do the forward fold for our spine. And then as you exhale, just drop your arms. Start to send your hips back. Yeah, that keeps good alignment. Bring your hands onto your thighs. Good. And then just either you can just stay right here and then just relax your head down. Or you know the drill here, right? If you want to slide your hands further down your legs, if you want to hang your arms down, if you want to drop your head a little bit more, yeah. And then just shake the head side to side if you'd like, if that's available. Yeah. And just breathe. Big breaths. And each time you exhale, and see if you can allow the head to just drop a little bit more forward. Yeah. Send those hips back. Good. And just feel, as long as there's not too much pressure on your retina or your sinuses, um, just enjoy this inversion. And if there is a little bit too much pressure, just lift the head up a little bit and breathe. So forward folds are a little bit more cooling. Yeah, so take the struggle out. Just be to where it's comfortable for you. And breathe. All right, and when you're ready, if your arms are hanging, bring them onto your legs if you like, or you could just curl up one vertebrae at a time. The others start to roll up or start to walk your hands up your legs. You can keep the head down. Nice and slow, come out of it. Yeah, good. And then once the chest is up and the shoulders up, reach the arms out and up. Good, let's bring our hands into prayer position and then still slowly float your hands down to your heart and relax, good. And just wiggle it out. Again, between each pose, just wiggle out, shake off the tension and it just allows us to be a lot more um, ready for the next pose, right? Your muscles won't be tense. All right, we're gonna do a little tree balance here. Yeah, so I haven't done tree in a little while. So that it's very helpful when we're balancing to have that good posture. You know, just think about it. There's weight in our head for sure, eight to 10 pounds. So if the head's forward, tendency is for the body to wanna fall forward, right? So just having the head above the shoulders will help to just give us that good posture. And that's gonna help us to balance as well. So nice tall spine, shoulders easily back and down. Good. I like to start with hand on chair for sure, right? It's with our balance. And inviting a little bit of wobble in is good too. That's gonna engage our deep core muscles. So let's slide your weight into the inside leg. But we want that mountain leg, right? Lifting that kneecap. And you feel that engage your thigh and your hamstring and even your glute muscle 
on this side. Yeah, on this inside. Good, so we want a nice strong leg to stand on. And then bend the outside knee. Come onto the ball of your foot first. And if that feels like enough of a challenge for you today, stay there. If you wanna open your hip up a little bit and challenge balance a little bit more, you can take the knee out to the side. You're on the, your toe and, and then slide the bottom of the foot in. So I know we do tree a lot, but let's just take each step at a time and then arrive there. And if you're feeling like you can't breathe or you, you, you won't be able to balance even if you let go, yeah, then modify, right? Always modifying each and every day. Yeah. All right. When we learn to modify, we learn to love, love life a lot more. <laughs> and then slowly, if it's available to you, bring your palms together. Good. And see how it goes there. Sometimes just gently pressing into your palms. Yeah, but that tall posture, that's going to keep you upright. And a little bit of wobble is so good. That is engaging all so many muscles and your deeper muscles. Yeah. If it's available to you, relax the hands and float them up towards the sky with your little tree branches. And blow them up towards the sky. And breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Good. And any kind of challenge you want to do, if you're feeling like, okay, well, this is no big deal, then lift your gaze and look up to where the ceiling meets the wall. You're breathing and smiling. Good. You can even close your eyes if you'd like. That's really a crazy balance challenge. If you want to do that, feel free. Yeah. Good. One more breath here. You got it. Tell yourself, I've got this. I've got this. Yeah. And then when you're ready, definitely open your eyes. Bring your gaze back down. Bring your palms slowly together. Come out exactly the way you went in slowly. Yeah. Tendency is to just drop out. You want to, don't want to do that. Hands back to heart. Release the hands down. And then release that knee forward. And release that foot. Okay, so in these balance poses, going slow is where the challenge is. That's the, the balance Olympics <laughs> is, you know, going slow because you want to just come out, right? Because you're just like, okay, I'm done with this. But it's like, no, 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 no. Slow, 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 slow. All right, so let's go to the other side, whichever side you started on. Let's go to the other side. Good. All right, and then again, when you're in your pose, sometimes you may topple out a little bit safely. You know, that's why we have our chair here. And be okay with that. Know that that's because you were challenging yourself. And then slowly, with a smile, just go back in and find that point that is comfortable for you. All right, so let's start with this inside leg closest to the chair. And again, find that mountain leg. Kneecap lifted, that's engaging these big muscles here. Yeah, nice tall spine. And then rock most of the weight into that leg, standing leg. Again, these are good for also strengthening and bone building. Yes. And then start with bending the knee. Try to do whatever you did on the other side on this side, if you can mirror that. And then taking the knee out, bringing the bottoms of the foot together. I should have said this on the other side, but feel free to bring the outside of your foot on the inside of your shin or your thigh, never your knee though. If you want more of a challenge, yeah, I don't know if you practice tree every day. Good, find your balance, good. And then see if you can slowly float your hands into prayer position. So belly is in and up. Nice, tall spine, heart is lifted. Maybe lift the elbows and press into your palms. Maybe that'll feel like a little bit more of a, a help or maybe not. Then if you want to slowly bring the arms up, that sometimes helps with the balance as well. Pressing down into those standing toes, keeping that standing leg strong, good. And here, if you want more challenge, you can lift your gaze. Yeah, you can even soften your gaze. 
even close your eyes if you want to do that challenge. And again, notice the little wobble, that's good. Tell yourself, I've got this, I've got this. I can stay upright, yes. So two more breaths, you've got this. Breathing deep, more the challenge, deeper the breath. All right, and when you're ready, slowly bring your palms together. Slowly float your heart, your hands to your heart. Good. And then slowly let go and shake it out. Come out slow. Wiggle it out and shake it out. It's such a great challenge for us, right? Yeah, good. All right. Okay, so we're gonna um, just come into a little bit of a back bend here. Let's just come back to the front of our chair here. Not sit down quite yet. So here we are, front of our chair. Good. All right. So we're going to start with a little bit of a, um, a back bend. So taking your hands and sliding them back and interlacing your hands behind your hips. Yeah. We're just doing that. Yeah. And it's, again, this is opening up those lungs, that lung tissue. Good. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, slide your hands down towards the seat of your chair. And stretch your shoulders back. Then find that opening of that nice opening of your heart, chest, lungs. Good. If you like to challenge yourself just a little bit, you can close your eyes. Good. Find your breath. Big breath in. Imagine the air going all the way down to the very bottom lobes of your lungs and breathe out. As you breathe in, see if you can relax your belly. Breathe in, let the belly puff up, breathe out, let the belly drop back, slide your hands a little closer to the floor. Getting a little stretch in the top of the shoulders. Yeah, even alongside your neck. And as you exhale, relax. Good. And relax the body. Open your eyes if you close them and unclasp behind you. Good. All right, we're going to slow motion our way back to sitting in our chair. So we can start with a little um, uh, uh, chair pose here. Yeah, so take a breath in. And as you exhale, start to send your hips towards the back of your chair there. Just come about a third of the way down. Good. Try to keep your heart lifted here. And take a breath in again. And on an exhale breath, see if you can reach your hips back a little bit more and come down. Maybe you're now about halfway. Good. And then take a breath in and then you can certainly look for the front of your chair here and ever so slowly trying to not use your arms and hands as much as possible. Just come to the seat. Good. All right, we've arrived in our chair. Yes. So scooting forward just a little bit here. Good, take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Now yeah, let that heart come back to uh, our normal heart pace. Yeah. Now let's all take a breath in and as we exhale lean forward slightly. We're going to do thread the needle. That really helps to open the back of our lungs here. Good. And so take another breath in and on an exhale breath come a little bit further forward and bring your right elbow onto your thigh and relax your left arm down. Good. Then on, on an inhale breath, reach that left arm out and up, and you can follow the gaze out to the left there. And then as you exhale, drop your left arm, bend your elbow, start to slide your hands behind that right elbow, and then drop your left shoulder towards that left leg. So just, you know, you can then bring that right hand onto your knee. That feels better as you slide that left arm out to the right, reaching those left fingertips towards that right wall. This is just helping to open up 
that back, yeah, that left side of your shoulder and the back of your lung. Yeah, so just a little, you know, nice deep stretch there. Keep breathing. And then now pressing down into your right palm on an inhale breath and your feet slowly bring the body back up. The hand just naturally comes out from behind you and relax. Let's just do the other side. Take a breath in, exhale, hinge forward. Let's just leave that, that hand on the knee, that left hand, right arm down. And good. On an inhale breath, press into your feet, reach that right arm out and up towards the sky. Good, take a nice big breath in. Then exhale as it starts to drop down. Bend the elbow, slide that hand behind that arm, just to where it's comfortable, right? And then it, just to your range of motion, drop that right shoulder towards that right leg. Good. And start to reach that right, those right fingertips towards the left wall. Good. You can even look to the left and breathe. Pulling a nice stretch on this side, this right shoulder, this right back lung, right rib cage, back of the rib cage. Good. And then press down into your feet, slowly bring the body back up. Good and relax. Such a nice opening for here. When we keep this open, it just feels better. You know, our lungs have been chugging away trying to clear out this smoke because, you know, anyway, so we're just helping to give it a little bit of love and care. Yeah. All right. So we're still scooted forward here. I'm just going to end with a little core work here. Good. So let's bring our hands onto our chest. Good. Take a nice big breath in. Nice tall spine. Good posture. Look up. Chin up slightly. And as you exhale, bring your awareness to the top of your shoulders and start to lean back. Tommy tucks in that area four inches below your navel. Draw it back to your spine. As you lean back, almost like there's a rod in your spine or not, your spine is straight. Yeah and your shoulders are reaching towards the back of your chair and your little toes are pressing into the floor to help you to stay up. And here you're breathing. This is challenging. Yeah, three for three. We got this. Two, you're almost there. One, almost a half. <laughs> and on an inhale breath, slowly bring the body back up. Yeah and release your hands down. Sorry I'm making you work that hard on this hot day. Ah, shake it out, shake out the head. Yeah, bring your hands onto your thighs, nice tall spine, take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, just hinge forward and just drop the body forward. So relax the head down and take a couple breaths there. And then press down into your feet, slowly come back up okay. and shake it out. All right, we're going to get a little bit longer Shavasana in today just because of this hot weather and because we work so hard and it feels good. Yeah. All right. So we're going to start with first um, a little mudra here. Well, it's actually a Jin Shin, an energy point for our that our digestive area, our lung area, our respiratory system, our our um, our throat, you know, this is good for like a little throat irritation. Yeah, this whole area and here. So, and there, the, the energy points are on the outside of our elbows. Yeah. Well, let's sit tall in our chair with our back supported and simply just uh, touch your those outside of your elbows. So we just have our arms resting on our, our chest, our belly or our stomach here. And we're just holding onto these areas, kind of like the point of your elbow a little bit more forward. Yeah, good, kind of in that general direction. Good. And let's close our eyes. So again, this is 
this is balancing that energy in that this whole centered chest area and even our digestive tract. Good for allergies and throat irritations, lung function. So let's take three nice, long, slow, deep breaths here. So take a breath in slowly through the nose, just nice and easy. Pause the breath and breathe out nice and easy. So nice, deeper, conscious breaths here. And after the third exhalation, just re relax the breath. Very good. Back to your natural breath now. You may feel some pulsating in those areas in your fingers and the areas of the elbows. And then go ahead and release your hands, palms up on your lap. And finding final relaxation, Shavasana. Let go of all of your efforts now. Let's take a breath in and let it go. The mouth of the nose, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, your hands. Relax your lungs, your heart, your belly, hips. your legs, your thighs, hamstrings, the lower legs, your feet, toes. Whole bodies relax now. Let go of all of your efforts. And just simply do nothing now. With a smile on the face. any awareness to your thoughts of any. Just allow them to come and go. Let go of all of your efforts. Feel relaxed.
Your awareness to how you feel. And your awareness to your breath. Feel free to remain here for as long as you'd like. Should you choose to come back now slowly, take a deeper breath in, fill those lungs, and breathe out, release the air. Begin to wiggle toes and fingers. Move the body ever so gently. Smile back to the face if it lets. Lungs are smiling. Body smiling. All the cells in your body smiling. Coming back to stillness, bringing your hands into prayer position, resting your thumbs onto your heart. Take a nice big breath in and feel your heart rise. And exhale, bow your forehead, relax your shoulders. Closing practice today with this. Sometimes the best thing you can do is not think, not wonder, not imagine, not obsess. Just breathe and have faith that everything is working out for your highest good. And when you're feeling ready now and complete, gently begin to flutter the eyes open as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming and sharing in this amazing space with each other on this great, lovely day. Have a rest, lovely rest of your day. Stay cool. Namaste. Good.